Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I graded this shot for a shampoo commercial. So if you like the final grade, then stick around to see how it's done. A few things I have to let you know before we get into the tutorial. Don't worry, I'm not going to sell you a free training course, if you know what I mean. In fact, I'm going to do the opposite and tell you that the clips I use in this tutorial is available to download for free. But please only use the clip for practice. And I have to give credit to Ashman for letting me use this clip, so go check him out if you want. This clip was shot on a Sony A7S III in S-Log 3 10 bit 422, so it's pretty juicy to grade. And without further ado, let's start grading. Alright, so I got my clip here loaded up in the color tab. The first thing that we're going to do is to find a hero frame where everything in the clip is inside one frame. So I'll play it back a few times and then pick a frame. This right here should be good. The hand and the product is in the shot and also this liquid shampoo coming out. So once that's done, we'll start building our node tree. I will build the whole node tree first, then label it afterwards. Let's start with one node at the top. Three serial nodes on the second row. Followed by three parallel nodes with a mixer. Then three more serial nodes to finish. So this grid has a total of 11 nodes. And we'll start labeling the nodes. Node number one is our vignette correction. Node two, exposure. Node three, white balance. Node four, saturation. Node five, look. Node six, hue versus. Node seven, mood. Node eight, parallel mixer, which we don't have to label. Node nine, sharpen. Note 10, Vignette. And finally, the last note is our Glow. So the first row is where I put all my pre-correction notes. And the second row is for correction notes. The third row, or these parallel notes, are for grading. And finally, some post-grading notes. So now that everything is ready, we can start grading. For this vignette correction note, I want to counter some of the vignette coming from the lens by using the power window to select the outer area of the frame. Remember to inverse your selection because we don't want to select inside the window. So I'll go back to the curves and drag somewhere in the middle upwards. Just a little till the edges are matching with the middle of the frame. Next, we'll work on exposure. You can apply a lot for this, but I like to do my color correction by hand because you can get more control with it most of the time. I'll first set the saturation all the way down to zero so that we don't get distracted by the colors. We are mainly focusing on the luminance and the contrast of the frame. Make sure that you are on primary views. I will first work on my lift. Drag it all the way, then pull it back to somewhere not too dark. I want this commercial to feel bright and fresh. And I'm looking at my RGB parade here, making sure that nothing touches the bottom because there are no objects that are pitch black in this frame. Let's do the same for my gain, all the way up, then pull it back. Then I'll move my gamma and let it sit somewhere that I want it to be. So it's very important that you have your desired look in mind or maybe a reference at hand. Let's do some contrast, just a little bit. And I'll move my pivot the same way I did with my gamma. Just move it around till it sits somewhere I like. After I'm done, I'm going to reset the saturation by double clicking on the label. There you have it, before and after. Now for white balance, I don't think I'm going to touch it because if I use the qualifier right here, you can see that the whites are more or less pure white, so I don't really want to touch it. So let's move on to saturation. I'll go to my RGB mixer tab and max out all the outputs, red, green and blue. I know that it looks a bit scary, but don't worry. We'll go to the key tab, 
and lower down the gain which is sort of like the opacity of this node. Same process, drag it around until it sits somewhere that you want it to be. Alright, that's it for color correction. From here on, we'll start color grading. For the look, we'll be using a green and orange contrast because I want to give it that natural look and remove some of the magenta digitalness of this clip. So, we'll go into our leaf and push towards the greens. Now this is 10 bit footage so we can push it quite a lot but I don't want it to look too stylized so I'll just do a little bit. Don't freak out if it looks like this. Next we'll go into the gamma and push a little orange in. But don't just look at the orange, look at the skin. You should be able to get the skin where you want it to be. Nothing else in the frame matters at this point, just get the skin at where it should be. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this skin tone. Now if I zoom into this dark area, you'll see that it's leaning a bit towards green. So we'll have to correct that by going into our log wheels and drag the shadow towards magenta until the black part gets somewhere close to true black. Something I like to do is to keep my whites at white and my blacks at black. It looks cleaner to me like that unless I'm going for a very stylized look. Now let's move on to hue versus and in this note we are going to our hue versus hue curves and make some points on the curve. I'm not really feeling the hue of the greens at the back there so I'm gonna play around with the green hue and see if it sits somewhere more greenish. So I'm going to leave it here. The hue of the leaves are still not where I want it to be so I'll use my yellow hue and play around with it. But as you can see it is affecting my skin tone. So I'll create a point just before the orange hue to lock in that hue. So I'll only affect my yellow hue. Alright, just a bit towards green. And for hue versus saturation, we'll also make some points on the curve. And then I want to boost up the greens a little so that it looks more vibrant. Maybe also the yellows. So I'll lock in the orange like just now and boost the yellow saturation up by a little. Okay, the skins are a bit too saturated for me right now, so I want to tone it down just by a little bit. Now let's see the before and after. For the mood note, I want to give it a cooler mood because the whole frame looks a bit warm for my taste and I want it to feel fresh and cool. So what I'll do is I'm going to qualify the skin and then use an inverted qualifier to cool down the whole frame. So make sure that your qualifier is selected and turn on your highlight viewer. And we are just going to click and drag all over the skin that we want to qualify. And then also don't forget to add some denoiser and blur radius to smoothen out the qualified area. Then we'll invert the selection. So I'll turn off the highlight viewer and then go into our primary wheels, gamma, to drag a bit of blue into the frame. Just go over the top and then drag it back to where you want it to sit. Okay, so this is the before and after. On our sharpen node, we'll go into the blur tab and decrease the radius by just a little bit. Around 0 0.47 will be enough sharpness. And for the vignette node, we are going to try to focus the audience's eyes on the product. So I'm seeing a bit of spotlight coming from the left and I'm going to try to enhance that. Let me show you what I mean. Let's zoom out a little and go to our windows. Then we'll create a circle window and stretch it. Add a little softness to the window and I'm going to turn it negative 90 degrees 
because that's where the light is coming from. So now I can either increase the brightness inside the window or I can darken the outsides by selecting Invert. For this shot, I don't want to touch the exposure in the middle, so I'm going to do a normal vignetting. Okay, finally, let's add some glow. So I'll go into my Open Effects tab, type in Glow, and drag this effect into my glow node. And you see that it's too bright, so we'll have to adjust it in the controls. Let's use the threshold and see how far we want to affect the image. A lower threshold means that the glow will affect the lower exposed area as well. I'll leave it at 0 0.66 for now. And you'll see that it's still very bright, so I'm going to lower down the brightness until it feels right to me. 0 0.22 will do. Don't worry if the highlights are overexposed. This is a bright and refreshing commercial after all, so I'll just leave it the way it is. So let's turn off all the notes and quickly go through it one by one. I started with my vignette correction, and then work on the exposure. And then I didn't really do anything in the white balance. And then we played with the saturation. And then we created a look for it and then corrected some hues and then cool down the background and then give it a little bit of sharpness and then focus the eyes in the middle and then lastly we added glow so this is the final look I hope you can follow along the tutorial if there's any question feel free to drop a comment and I know my mouse pointer wasn't very obvious in this video, but I've made the necessary changes in my future videos. So thanks for understanding. And I'm excited to see how you graded the video. So tag me or email me your version. If you found something useful in this video, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's empty. I don't know why I'm holding this. Okay. Bye.